I have gotten all the rest of my couplers in. My KD740s is what I use. So, I've done this car and the back end of this one. Um, I had these, this first car and the, the front of this second one done. Um, it's a lot of work and it takes about 40 minutes per car uh, simply because you have to, I'll just show you quick, you have to take that truck completely apart and actually cut where the the three rail coupler goes so you have to take the truck completely apart which entails taking all these springs out which is kind of a pain and time consuming um, but as you can see that's what the three rail coupler looks like and then I have After you're finished, it looks like this. So I'll give you a side-by-side here of these. So this is with the three-rail coupler. You can see it has all this extra stuff in it for the latch and all that to, to uncouple the, uh, however it works. Yeah. And then here it is completely stripped down so it looks quite a bit more realistic um, on this, obviously. Um, the other thing that I've been doing is decided to give the cars a little break. Um, I got the KDs on this guy, so I was just going to start it up. This will be the first time that I've started it up since I've got it put back together. Um, these front handrails aren't even attached yet. I just want to get it up, make sure that it works. I checked it with the coupler height gauge and the coupler should all work. Um, I just wanted to make sure that it goes around all the curves and sidings and stuff. So, I will find my remote here. Now, if it doesn't work, I guess, We'll find out firsthand. <laughs> so I got my remote and it turned on, so I guess that's a good thing. Now, this locomotive has a BCR in it, and I don't know a lot about those. I use batteries on my other ones. Um, the guy that I got this off of on eBay had a BCR in it. So I guess I'm not sure if you have to let it charge up a little bit since it hasn't been run in a couple of weeks probably. Um, so maybe we'll just let that sit a minute and go over a couple other things here um, I think in my last video I did mention that I had all these guys done on the main line at least um, the tortoise switch machines and I'll just kind of go over my plan for this area too so what I want to do and I'm, I'm probably gonna end up starting this fairly soon is this siding this first siding here is going to be an engine shed or a, a locomotive shed maintenance shed so it'll be a, approximately 20 inches because I have two 10 inch straights there so I'll make it approximately 20 inches by slightly wider than the track and then what I want to do over here on this track is have a ref refueling and maybe have a sanding tower um, and stuff like that so it's kind of cramped I do wish I had a little bit more room but 
I think I can make it work. Um, so as I said, this is going to be a scratch built building. And then coming over here again is going to be my grain facility. So I hope to get that up soon. And hopefully in the next video I'll have all the rest of this painted. This I forget what it was even called. It's a clay color or something. Just to give it a base for for uh, scenery and stuff. And then the other thing that I really want to get working on is this hillside back here. Um, this is going to have a farmhouse on it. That and I have the farmhouse. Um, it is lighted. So it's going to look really cool once I get scenery up there and trees. Um, and then coming back around here, I had the notion of doing some hills and a bunch of trees, but I think I've been on my way to work every day, um, driving past, uh, some, some railroad tracks and they have fields surrounding them so I think I, I just think it looks really cool so I think I'm gonna do a corn field maybe corn I don't know what it'll be but some sort of field hopefully back in here and then maybe do kind of like what they do and put just the trees like lining the tracks I think that'll give it a really cool effect around this back side um, and potentially carry that field around to here maybe a little bit um, and then over here is just going to be another hill I'm going to do a hillside and maybe a I was thinking about doing a, um, a pasture for cattle or something just make it look like a bunch of cattle are grazing so, I think I've let this sit long enough, I'm not sure. I don't know anything about BCRs, so we're going to give this a whirl and see how it goes. Let's see if the front ditch lights work. They do. Quick move these cars. Got a lot of cars on the track right now because I'm. I was well, I was running them with my daughter the other day. She really enjoys the Santa Fe passenger train. She can see other people. I'm really curious. I think this SD, the, the SD40 2s they they for sure have a wider swing than the SD45 does, so that coupler sticks out further uh, from the center. So I'm really curious to see how that works with uh, with some cars here. I'm hoping it's all okay and I don't have to make all the curves wider and such. And it looks like it's going to be alright. So it does couple. So let's see. Actually, I think I'm just going to slide these guys off the track for right now. I just kind of want to run this for a while because it really hasn't been run much since I got it because I got it and pretty much stripped stripped it down cut the pilots up and attached them to the, the body and that was that so I will pause and be right back 